Hi, everyone. So welcome to the broadcast today. Very much excited for having you. We want to continue with our discussion in management accounting. And today we want to look at one of the critical and fundamental areas of the subject. And that is to talk about the absorption costing, the marginal costing, and then activity-based costing. Last week, we started with a discussion on the introduction to management accounting. We looked at the part one, part two, part three, and then look at uh, the issue in relation to how the absorption costing can be used in the computation of the various overhead absorption rates. We discussed the, the six bases of overhead absorption rate, that is absorbing the overheads using uh, material cost, labor cost, prime cost, absorbing the overheads using uh, machine hours, labor hours, and then production unit, and how these pieces can all be computed together and how we can really express them in the determination of the cost of an organization. So today we want to actually put the pieces together and find out how we can now prepare a cost sheet or a profit statement using the absorption costing, a cost sheet or a profit statement using the... Uh, uh, activity-based costing, and then cost sheet and profit statement using the marginal costing in that case. So when you join the stream, you are welcome to the stream. It's always a pleasure coming your way. Consider to give us a thumbs up on the video. That way we get more engagement. If it is not blue, just click on it. It is going to tend to blow. The YouTube algorithm will be able to pick that up and will be able to let a video reach as many students as possible. But most importantly, I want you to comment in the chat box any questions that you have for me in the chat box, what subject, what topics you want us to cover on the channel more. Everything I'm covering in the series on these live streams will be based on the topics that you guys want us to cover or want to see more on the channel. So comment in the chat box, any questions that you have for me and anything that you want me to cover. Right. So I see some comments coming in here. Uh, Mustafa said, hi. Hello, Mustafa. We have been missing you. Yep. I think uh, on Thursday, on Friday, we couldn't, uh, I couldn't come your way because of a uh, couple of challenges we had here on uh, devices and other issues. That is why I did not come. But hey, now we are back here to make sure we continue with our discussion. I see some of you guys joining the stream as well. Welcome. Smash the like button. Thank you very much. I see some of you doing that. And comment in the chat box any questions that you have for me that you would want me to uh be or uh, to talk about Ezekiel Pedro Baden said, Glad we are able to study today. Yep, that is very awesome. I'm also glad to have you guys around. Comment in the chat box any questions that you have for me, topics you would want me to consider as we uh gear towards our preparation for the exams. Then I see a comment coming from Chyla, all the way from Zambia. Hi, Chyla. I hope you're doing well. Shout outs to all Zambians and uh, enjoy your day as well. Okay, so let's get into the discussion today. Please, is this topic in management accounting level two ICAG? Yep, uh, it is something that you need to understand in the level two. So, yes, it is. Um, Chaila, no, that is for Mawili uh, Abochi. Yeah, Mawili. Uh, it is something that you need to understand is a fundamental aspect in management accounting. So in the syllabus directly, you will see marginal costing and absorption costing. What you will see in the syllabus is activity-based costing. However, you cannot do activity-based costing without having a prior understanding of absorption costing and then marginal costing. So even though marginal costing and activity-based costing aren't directly stated in the syllabus, they are basic uh, concepts that you must understand before you prepare the, uh, the uh, activity-based costing or before you use activity-based costing. So that is the clarity you must understand, uh, Mawali. Peter said, good uh, day, sir. Longest time, sir. Thank God for his love. Yes, thank God. Yeah, when Thursday and Friday, I wasn't able to come your way, but hey, we are here today. Enyo Beck said, I hope it is not too late to start, please. Oh, Enyo, you are now starting uh, for the IEC in November 2020 exams, I guess. Yeah, it's not too late. You still have the exams is slated to start on the 30th of November. So technically, you still have about 
three months to go. That is on, in September, October, and November. And three months is a lot of time to do a lot of damages. So in your bags, if you are willing to put in the effort, willing to put in the work, you can start as always and then prepare well for the exams as well. That is why I recommend that you attend lectures. And in addition to that, you make sure you get a question kit from the ICA and also make sure you spend some time by yourself studying and practicing a couple of questions and you should be ripe for the exam. So that is what I would say, uh, Enyo Bex. And then Francis Osei Poku said, hello, Ishira. Many thanks for the good well works. It's a pleasure, Francis Poku. Like, uh, Lily said, hi, how are you? Lily, I'm doing well, and I hope you are also doing well. Nayan, good 